the bye week is obviously time to get away, but, but you know, well, just take a deep dive into the first eight games. I'm just curious what they came back with, with, with you know, things that they thought you did well, and maybe some things you did not like to improve on the, the last half of the year. Um, yeah, more so just a lot of self scouting, uh, kind of just seeing what we did well as a team, as far as like calls or what what plays kind of we had success with, and you know trying to kind of build on those things and uh, kind of you know some things might fall fall under the under the table that you don't really notice when you're in the moment. So we kind of um, dived on some of those things, and you know that hopefully we'll come back and try to improve on those. Can you speak to the task you have this week. Yeah, uh, he's a good player. Uh, you know, he's still young, still growing, still getting better. But uh, you know, he's he's already shown what he can do out there, and uh, you know, we just come out and you know put our best foot forward and you know uh, try to stop him. You pretty much know when you play the Steelers, what kind of game you're going to get. Tough game, you know, that's what's going on. It's a good tough game. Yeah, uh, I mean, they've kind of been doing that for years. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. So, uh, you know, we'll be prepared for it. And, you know, we're coming out grinding every day and, you know, trying to uh, put our best foot forward. And, you know, I don't think that really changes with who we're playing. We're kind of, we're going to come out and we're going to take our, our same approach. Aaron said you guys took a pretty close look at the red zone. That was one area you identified that really need to get better the last nine games. Just what kind of things did, did you get not to give away the game plan or like that? But just what kind of things are really plagued you in, in the red zone that you guys think you can clear up these things? Um, more so, we got to stop kind of giving up touchdowns. We got to, you know, when, when they're down there low, we got to make them kick that field goal. When they're high in the red, we want to try to get a turnover or, you know, find a way to just get the ball back, well, you know, without giving up six points or seven points. And, uh, you know, that's kind of just, just more so a mindset. And, uh, you know, we did a good job today working on it and uh, kind of picked up our intensity in the red zone drills and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I think we'll be improved. Well, like we heard the nickname Germ before this year. So is that, is that new this year? And, uh, uh, no, uh, it's because I, I had COVID at the start of camp, so I'm like, no. Who made that? I don't know. It was kind of a team thing when I got back. Jerks. <laughs> you know, I'm the uncleansed around here. We ain't gonna go there though. So who came up with scrap for Beckett? Uh, I don't know. It was, he came in and that was scrap, so we're gonna keep it going. It's, it's a good name. He's a scrappy guy. Is it, is it scrappy? <laughs> yeah, he's a scrappy guy. He plays hard. Uh, I think it fits him. All right, I got one more to stop him. Uh, it seemed like you were having a little fun at your coach's expense yesterday. I don't know. I heard he doesn't like back talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of his thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of his thing he says, but uh, you know, we don't really care. You know, we go, we go say what we want to him for the most part. And, uh, it's, it's he's like, you were laughing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's gonna have to take it. Yeah.